He's learning. But you're an asshole, Jiggy. Oops, I did not see you there. Suzume smiles and gives a short wave. <coughs> Her arrival made Jigaro stop talking. So I'm already happy to see her for the reason alone. Misha and I decided to go into town again, Isao. I noticed you were looking at some clothes yesterday in the store window, and I thought I would go back and buy some of them for you. It was uh, supposed to be a surprise, though. And she looks annoyed at, uh, that the surprise is ruined. Even though she ruined it herself. Here you go. Thanks. Misha wanted to cut her hair. I told her not to, but she this, uh, but she said it has to. Uh, it was too hot for it this summer. Well, well, this is new. Um, hmm. This is. I don't. I don't know. The the. Her drills! They're the drills that are going to pierce the heavens! If you got that reference, I. I think we could be good friends. <laughs> okay. Yeah? I don't know. That, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense to me. It must be like an oven under there. I want to see it when she, uh, where is, I want to see it, where is Misha, anyway. anyway. Over here! Hi, Ichan! Hi, Mr. Sichan's father! Hi, Hadichi! <laughs> oh, no, I don't like that boss, and I don't like that smile. Oh, fuck, that's a big change. Misha runs around us once in a wide circle before stopping next to Suzume. Before the first time, she hasn't put her hand over her eyes, over my eyes. <laughs> Although, now I see she has a bag of her own to carry. So, it's not like she could have ever, even if she wanted to. Although, I'm positive she tried before. Her meticulously style, <laughs> meticulously styled hair, is <laughs> cur styled curls are gone now, in favor of a much shorter, sportier look. Misha looks even happier than usual, probably because her she knows. She won't have to wake up in the mor uh, at the crack of dawn every morning just to do her hair. Yeah, I I have to admit when I grow out my hair. And by the way, when I when I grow my hair, I get an afro. <laughs> when I get my afro, like it's a feeling of pride, but it can also be really, really annoying to take care of. Like, when, every time I wake up, I have to fluff one side of my head to match the other side. Like, well, that, that's usually taken care of after, like, you know, shower and towel drying, but it's still annoying. Anyway, ahem, ahem. What? Is that haircut? You look like an intern. Your old haircut nearly made you look like you were wearing a pink judge wig. Judge to intern. A huge demotion. You need. You you just you just need like. No wonder you don't have a wife. <laughs> yes, Sal. Is he saying something insulting? Tell him not to insult my friends. And don't insult my friends. Which one of you is talking? Both of us. I agree with her. <laughs> what do you think, Ichan? You should 
You should, uh, you should keep that kept like it was. Ah, uh, you John, you, uh, you look disappointed. You don't uh, like it either. Well, yeah, I'll admit it's kind of. I kind of like your old haircut more, but I think this one is nice too. It suits you. Ah, uh, thanks, Ethan. Touching, if you like it so much. Maybe you two should trade. You can't trade a haircut. What a shame. Even her old haircut would suit you much more than your current slacker haircut. Awful. As you... As for you... Actually, this looks garnish like your other haircut. I like it! Ah, really? Thanks, Mr. Tsuzune's dad! Oh, my dog's freaking out. <laughs> it's Mr. Hakimichi! Talk like a normal person. Jesus. Jesus! Like, fuck! <laughs> you... You compliment her, then insult her. Hmm? I don't understand. Okay, okay. I'll call you Mr. Akamichi. Ah, uh, it's like speaking to a slide whistle. Incompetentable. Where's my biographer? Hi, hi, Dicky. He, he starts. Did he yell at hi, Dicky? Okay. He starts quietly muttering to himself and walks off. I'm guessing a wannabe crack, uh, cranky dead old man like. Jigaru would, at the very least, be hesitant to yell at girls. But suddenly, he doubles back, unable to resist his urge to have the last word. Another thing! You do not have to be so loud. I do not like being shouted at. What shouting? I'm not shouting! I can't think of anyone more unqualified to talk about what's garnish or not to, or to chastise someone else on shouting at people. It's like a priority of hypocrisy. A parade, I mean, of hypocrisy. And, it, and the hits just keep coming. An unusual reaction seems to be taking place. Misha apparently finds Jigaru funny and laughs pretty much every time he says something, which only makes him berate her harder. I guess this is what they call a vicious cycle. I love it. Misha's voice is punctuated with explosions of laughter, which seem to come from everywhere. On the other hand, Jigaru is booming and directed like a cannon. And, and <laughs> in any case, they are both unbelievably loud. The more they talk to each other, the more they seem to play off each other's volume and get louder. Ow, my ears hurt. <laughs> Why are you shouting? <laughs> this is an A reps. <laughs> this is an wrap around my eyes. From behind, something I'm used to Misha doing for the first time, I find myself confused by it. Since Misha is in front of me, yeah, what? She lets go and holds a finger up to her lips. The perfect distraction. Now, now's our opportunity to let uh, let's sneak off. Why do you have to sneak up? Why do we have to sneak off? Why not just walk off? It wouldn't be as fun. It's decided. It's a secret mission. Escape without being detected. Extract Haideki for bonus points. Already, she was uh, has simplified <laughs> simplified the situation into a game. Suzune quietly slides away from the scene and begins edging towards the house. 
I walk towards it normally. I can't find Suzune at first, but eventually she walks into the main part of the house, slipping on a glass of ice water, and dangling her glasses back and forth from her free hand. She wipes them as soon as she sees me. You didn't rescue Heideki. That doesn't mean you get any uh, get the bonus points. If you were to <laughs> were also graded on style, I'd have to deduct points for boring escape. <laughs> it looked like you were wanted to talk to me. I didn't know I had to be stylish about it. I know some say that the most stylish people are the ones that don't try to hard to look cool. You're really cool. <laughs> I wonder how uh, is it that I can pick up on her sarcasm so easily, and how hard it might have been for her to learn the concept of sarcasm without being able to hear. I can't imagine it. You seem like you're good in a good mood. I also Oh, I, although I guess it, it isn't really a good mood, it's more like she seemed very excited. I'm in a bad mood. She's setting her drink down, Suzune sits down on the couch. I liked her regular haircut, hairstyle, so much more. It looked so pretty. It had, was refined and meticulous. So she looked too sporty and to now she looks too sporty and tomboyish. I wouldn't call Misha refined and meticulous. That sounds more like you. You should uh, have. You should give it a chance. Grow your hair out and make <laughs> make it look like drills. Hmm. Actually, maybe that suits you. Uh, suits you just fine. Susan rubs the friends in her glasses roughly, looking annoyed at the implications behind what I just signed to her. And that's fine, because I was totally implying that. She moves a little closer to me when I take a seat. I'm a tomboy? <laughs> no, no one would call you a tomboy, based on appearances. Suzune glares at me, unassuming, uh, unassumed, unamused. Oh god, what the hell? Unamused. I have, I have to fight to keep a straight face. Maybe you two should trade haircuts anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You sound like my father. That's because he's pairing at him. It's true, Suzune. <laughs> Suzune giggles noiselessly when she sees my displeasure at the re rationalization. Jumping to her feet, she twirls an invisible sword in her left hand while standing up <laughs> militarily straight and uh, grimacing. A, terrible, a terribly accurate impression. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, I don't take advice from anyone who wears a blue, sw uh, blue sweater with brown pants. Where's your sense of color coordination? Dreadful. <laughs> but, but changing my haircut, that might be fun. When, wouldn't, wouldn't it be? I want to see how everyone would react. You must really like playing with people. Sometimes I think you're a little bit too, a uh, little too much. No answer. Then she fills with her glasses. Brow furrowed, a brow furrowed, tells me that it's because she can't. <laughs> it's fun. Then, with more confidence and while pulling herself closer to me, <laughs> it's it's like to drag more and more people into my life. Oh, I see. I wonder if I'm included in that number. I want to ask, but 
I'm not even sure how. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling.